Hey there YouTube, Far North Racing here. So the next thing we need to address with our CNC mill conversion project is the spindle motor. The stock motor is a one horsepower single phase DC motor with speed control, which is great, and it's geared to be able to go as fast as 2500 RPM, which isn't bad, but we want to be able to go faster than that so we can do high speed machining and make better use of carbide tools. And we also can always use more power because more power means you can spin bigger tools, larger drills, take off more material. More power makes everything better. I had a similar problem with a lathe, and I solved the problem there by using a permanent magnet DC motor salvaged out of a treadmill. These motors have tons of power, they're very high speed, they are available everywhere, and they're dirt cheap, and they work super well if you use the appropriate controller. So the first part of the problem is to figure out a way to adapt the motor to the gearbox, and I wanted to get rid of the gearbox on the mill and replace it with a belt drive because it's way easier to adjust the RPM range of the motor to the RPM range of the cutter you want to use. So I sourced this Mini Pro belt drive kit, which you can see here. So now that we have this kit, the next step is to figure out how to adapt the form factor of the treadmill motor to the form factor of the OEM motor that the kit wants to use. And here's how we're going to do it. The OEM motor is secured by a square four bolt pattern and the treadmill is secured by two bolts on the side hanging off a bracket. So what we have to do is make a kind of socket or cup that fits over the end of the treadmill motor, grips it on the outside, provides a tab that we can use to lock it down using one of its side motor mounts and has air passages so we can let cooling air flow through it. Or in other words, pretty much what you see here. So let's go build it. Alright, here we go. A few minutes later. Voila! All cut off. Operation 1. Turn exterior to size. Operation 2, bore interior to size. You know, it occurs to me that boring need not be boring. And in fact, if we're going to be watching some swarf porn, why don't we embrace that?
okay, so maybe not. So there we go, all done. As always, that was a right barrel of monkeys to get done. But the end product is actually pretty good. This lathe does not like massive hogging cuts, but it will do just fine with fine finishing, so long as you're okay with the angel hair chips that it makes. Here we are, the results of a hard day's work. Little seize my ass. Operation three, drill motor mount bolt holes. Actually crazy how well that tap magic stuff works. Six. The DRO makes Zero. this work. We'll do the motor vents. Operation four, drill motor vents. Okay, here we go. The first of three, six, nine, twelve holes for motor cooling. here is that I have to go to the DRO and set this thing up to four decimals on the on the position for each one of these things and that takes a little bit of fiddle fucking around so rather than move it for every single hole I'm gonna come back to this once it's all cut so hang tight so with all those holes drilled out we're back over to the lathe to bore out the motor nose clearance bore
Operation 6, face part to length. One minute, 37 seconds later. Operation 7. Back over to the mill to mill in the cooling slots. So here we are with the first cooling slot cut into it. It's not super pretty. It is square and it is tangent. The idea is just to communicate with those holes that then line up with the slots in the, in the motor. So it doesn't have to be perfect. But the floor is nice and flat. So we got that going for us, which is nice. And here we are with slot number two cut. That uh, YG end mill goes right through that aluminum like butter. Okay, so we'll pull that off, deburr it and then rotate it 90 degrees for the last two cuts. Here we are, all done, with the pulley we made last time attached, and it bolted to the Mini Pro belt drive. And you can see how it all lines up. And if we cut over to this picture here, we get to see the finished product ready to go. So, all I have to do now is, well, a crap ton of other stuff. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Ding, ding, around one. Ding, ding, round one. Now the battle's begun.